Imagine if you don't have a portfolio and all your money is invested into Twitter stock and suddenly President Trump decided to sue Twitter and Twitter stock dropped by 50% in value. What will happen? That is why it is important to have an investment portfolio. Hi, what's up guys? So today we are going to talk about investment portfolio. What is an investment portfolio? Investment portfolio is a grouping of financial assets that is held by an investor or a money manager. This grouping of assets can be in the form of stocks, bonds, ETFs, index fund, mutual fund, or anything, even including real estate or art. As long as you think that it is an investment that can give you return, it can be included in your portfolio. So, what is the advantage of having an investment portfolio? Firstly, it diversifies your risk and it optimizes your return to achieve your financial objective. What is a good investment portfolio? A good investment portfolio is like a pie that is being sliced into many different pieces in different sizes. Each piece representing a different asset and its size representing the portion it takes up in a portfolio. By the way, I'm just curious, how many of you guys who are watching have an investment portfolio? Please leave a comment below to tell me if you have one. Two very important elements that significantly influence a portfolio are risk tolerance and time horizon. For example, a high risk tolerant investor will have a larger portion of his portfolio in volatile assets such as small cap stocks, derivatives, growth stocks, or even alternative investments to gain a higher return, while a low risk tolerant investor will likely have more stable kind of assets such as bonds or cash equivalents. Although you may want to have a higher return, but losing sleep over it when there's a short term drop in value is never worth it. Generally, you may want to avoid or minimize your exposure in investments that you feel uncomfortable. Then it comes to time horizon. The retirement portfolio of someone who wants to retire in the next 5 years and a fresh graduate will be totally different. If you are retiring in the next 5 years, despite of your risk tolerance, you should invest a larger portion in conservative vehicles. Compared to a fresh graduate's retirement portfolio, he can have a larger portion in aggressive vehicles because he has time to ride out the volatility of the market. So when you construct your investment portfolio, it is important that you consider your risk tolerance and your time horizon. You don't want to lose sleep over it. A well-constructed investment portfolio is supposed to help you to manage your risk and optimize your return. How do you construct an investment portfolio? The first step, assess your current financial situation and goals. Having a thorough assessment of your current asset, liability, cash flow and investment in relation to your goal. Your goals has to be clearly defined and quantified. Then identify the gap between your current investments and the goal that is stated. Step number two, establish your investment objective. Is the portfolio for your retirement, your children's education, or a marriage fund? You need to know what the investment is for. Step number three, determine your asset allocation. To do that, you need to identify your risk return profile. Then, identify how much of risk are you willing to assume and how much of volatility can you withstand. The purpose of this step is to develop a portfolio strategy that can deliver the required returns with an acceptable risk. Using the risk return profile, you can develop your asset allocation strategy. The goal is to achieve the optimum diversification across different classes of assets and different investment options. Finally, it comes to step 4. It is important that you monitor and realign your portfolio. Because time change and economies change, it is important that you continuously monitor and review your portfolio according to your financial objective. This is how you construct an investment portfolio to achieve your financial goal. Constructing an investment portfolio sounds like you need a lot of money, right? But the truth is, you don't really need so much of money. You can even construct a portfolio even with just 10,000 ringgit. It all depends on how you want to do it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because next week I will show you how can you construct an investment portfolio with just 10,000 ringgit. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video beneficial, please share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel for more money education. Thank you very much. See you then.